now we did it pranayama studies on patients in a yoga institute in bombay and we found that all parameters their hearts function improve with four vessel coronary artery disease who were told in the hospital that without bypass surgery they'll die in three months they're all alive five years later and not only that their hearts are absolutely normal now so we did this study and followed it up and showed that it really works even with the conventional reductionist parameters now modern medicine has failed and failed miserably i will show you only a few things the institute of medicine report in the united states of america said that the first cause of death in the united states of america is heart attack second cancer third doctors and hospitals and fourth the adverse drug reactions of the drugs that doctors prescribe fifth then stroke and so on and so forth and in this country with 250 million people in on an average 350000 people die annually because of doctors interventions and the drug interactions now the third thing doctors went on strike in israel a couple of years ago for 3 months they were not working at all and there were no private doctors in israel and then of course somebody broke a peace between the government and the doctors and they came back and when they came back audit showed that death rate had fallen precipitously in every city during the strike period only to come up to its original level overshoot it when they came back to work and do you know who broke a peace can you guess morticians broke a peace their coffins were not sold at all that's a truth and the british medical journal has written a beautiful editorial doctors going on strike will definitely improve society's health now somebody said okay we have more doctors there will be less problem there is no link between the size of the doctors and the health of society as a matter of fact the largest number of doctors are in italy and the lowest is in japan and the health wise is japan is the best italy is the last among the 14 industrialist countries seen now dr larry dossi was telling about the checkups now see this prospective study it's a very beautiful study 5000 people were divided into two match groups and one group was checked up every 3 months religiously at free cost and the other group was told do what you like and at the end of 5 years there hardly any difference between the death rate in the two groups after 10 years the intervened group had twice the death rate due to all diseases at the end of 20 years three times more people died in the intervened group where every parameter so called parameter was corrected by the doctors the others didn't do anything next now a lot of people say if your blood pressure is slightly on the higher side as a matter of fact now they are bringing it down and down and down it was 160 by 110 it has come to now 110 by 75 and that's supposed to be the normal now now look at that for the first 3 years nothing happens to you beyond that beautifully treated people have three times more death and complications than people who are not taken drugs and compared to their normotensive cousins in society now very new concept has come in this is a very important thing which uh, dr uh, dossi was talking about the multiple sclerosis concept the whole group of diseases called the autoimmune diseases that is your own body cells think you are foreign and try to attack you this is called the concept of horror autotoxicus paul ehrlich two centuries ago said my god what happens if the antibodies attack you and now they think the antibodies attack you because you have the self and non self concept you become so selfish you cocoon yourself and think everything else is different no the real concept is all are mine or oh, this is exactly what ayurveda says aptopasevi bhavet arogyam if you treat everyone in this in this whole world as your near and dear ones health will be yours for the asking and what the, what spoils health krodha shoka bhaya ayasa viruddhanna bojana tapponalan katva amla kshara lavana tikshtoshti rakta pitta prakope hatred jealousy greed anger pride and all these things kill you and they kill you very very seriously and badly now we know the most important risk factor for heart attacks is hostility destructive hostility even students in johns hopkins young students were given a hostility score diary and every 3 months scanned with the pet scanner and they found higher the hostility score the quicker the damage to the coronary vessels as young as 18 years you would be surprised american soldiers in the vietnam war 100 of them after death they were scanned and they found 76% of them had pre vessel disease their age was 22 average age antibiotics have done so much of havoc that in britain now we prescribe maggots for wounds healing maggots are given culture maggots in packets patient's wound is 
healed up and then he sort go home every day put maggots on that third day the wound has healed gangrene treatment now the multiple drug resistant germs have become so dangerous that many hospitals have to close down their operation theaters because they can't operate these germs cannot be killed by the 500 molecules of antibiotics that antibiotics are anti nature you try to kill a germ the germ mutates and we are back to the basic now see work done in this country has shown that ginger and garlic put together the most powerful antiviral drug honey locally and inside beautiful drug indian spices like pepper probably is the best thing after 50 years of research in the colindale cold research center the last paper before they closed down the center said for cold we cannot do any improvement go and eat indian spices the future is for integrated medicine and leave the well alone don't interfere you know hutchison was a great physician of the last century who said god give me deliverance from a treating human beings as cases b making his making my intervention worse than his disease and three not letting the well alone yoga and health probably somebody will talk more about it power of prayer dr dot here already and never predict the future never predict the future of your patient thank you so thank you very much for a very patient hearing